I want to show you how to new tripod stand. So we're going to go into a free hunt and I'm just going to show you how to grab it and equip it. So the first thing you want to do is you're go to one of your main outposts, go to the computer, and of course, all you got to do is claim the tripod. When you claim the tripod, you just simply equip it. Well, we're going to show you how to do this. So we're going to go ahead and go over here and show you where to how, where to go do it. All right. So we're going to go over here. We're going to, we're going to use this computer and we're going to go into go down to your the bottom. You're going to have two types of stands. Just go ahead and claim the one. This was the one you're going to claim. You can buy this one. You can only use ten. So when you claim that, just claim it. Then simply go to your stand here and uh, yeah, just go right over here to this area and you're going to of course put that and then of course you're going to put your the interior uh, your, your wrap. So let's go let's go uh, let's go down here and we'll put it in place. So to put it up you just simply tap uh, let's see you tap right I believe. Oh wait a minute. Yeah, right here. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Tap the R2. Okay, and you click it. Wherever you hit R1 is where it goes. So, see, it's too close to understand. When it turns green, you can pop it. So 50 meters, I think you got to be, or 50 yards, I should say. So too close to the stand. So there you go. Right there's your limit. So too close, too close. So about 60 yards, 50 some yards. So that's kind of cool. When you want to take it down, just simply go to the middle. You can set up 10 of these in your in your in an area in one map. So that's kind of cool. Just take this and. Line. I like how it allows you to just go up in it and you can go right up in here and you can grab your gun now and zoom right in on your animal like so there it is 150 yards Just like that. When you want down, all you gotta do is hit circle. All right, now PC might be a little different, my friend. So I'm just saying, you know, that's that's how it is. So it's kind of nice to have a stand. So it's kind of neat. Kind of walking into the wind here too, ain't we? So and it seems like they don't really scare the animals. So, I will say that. Okay, usually there's some animals right over here. I don't know how close you got to be to animals. I really, really don't know. I was hoping to catch a deer or something to test it on. There's some deer. Okay, so. 
So 300 yards, we can probably move a good bit. A couple hundred. So let's get within a couple hundred yards. We'll try to get about 150 yards. Okay. We'll at least go down to the 150 yard mark. It may spook them. I don't know. There's a deer right there. So let's put puck. All right. So as you can see, we're up in the stand now. And we can look down on these deer and see everything about them. Which really makes it nice. So there's the deer. Nothing really shootable. No mature males. So. So you can see I walked in here pretty dang close. About 151 yards. Perfect for the deer. Heck, I'm even closer to them. So I'm probably about 120 some yards from them. So that's a nice deer right there. Let's see if we got a low fitness one. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. So we'll see what happens. I don't think Ann's going kind of, I think they're all high fitness deer. I got a deer over there talking. Oh. You really see nice when these stands. But it came with a new Matariki park new zealand in new zealand so so i hope that helps everybody anybody wants to set up a stand you know so oh we got we do have a low fitness there right here he comes so we'll, we'll call him in we'll take him out because he seems to be there's two low fitness there He's coming, so he's probably a low fitness deer, so we'll take him out because he's coming right on in. Oh, 
Oh, that was a good shot. Yeah, that was a good shot right there. We'll take him out. That's a nice one right there. For a mule deer. Alright, so like I say, we can take our we can take our stand down now. Just go right here. We'll go we just took a deer from this stand. I imagine I imagine he won't go very far. If he does I'd be amazed. So yeah. I mean I shot him right here, but it looks like it's pink. Yeah. It is pink. There it goes, right there. Oh yeah, there it goes. Cross creek. Let's see where he's going. Yeah, he's just going this way. So he'll probably go up here and drop dead somewhere. Let's see if we can get us a heading. Yeah. There he is. He didn't go very far, did he? So he's probably a low fitness deer. That was a good shot, really. I mean, he was quartered away. That's really what kind of shot you want in archery. So it looks like it hit that main artery up there. Both lungs. Oh, and the heart. Is that what that said? Yeah, the heart. Oh, wow, the top of the heart and the lung and exited. Whoa, that's nice. That was a nice shot, man. And he is... He's a male young, but he's high. He's not really low high fitness, but you know, it's okay. It is what it is, everybody. Well, anyhow, I appreciate you guys. I just wanted to show you the new tree stand. Remember, it's really easy to set up, and you can't set. You can set them up in strategic places if you want. I think they're really nice. I mean, there are some places that don't have very good places for stands. I mean, that really helps, too, when you're, like, coming out of one of your areas, like one of your camp areas, that has no stands. I mean, you've got a lot of these that have no stand. Now, these have stands fairly close to them, but there's a few places that don't have no stands close to the, like, the trailhead. Like this one right here. Say, this campsite right here has no camp, uh, stands. I mean, tree stands, so... I mean, heck, if you're right here looking for, trying to hunt, you know what I mean? So you're right here, you know what I mean? And you're saying, well, heck, there's deer right over here, man. I can't even hunt them. So you got deer over here in this area or over here in this creek bottom. You want to go down here. Or you just want to mail over here to this little, see this little waterway right here. Say you want to just come over here, you know? And you know, you got a little creek right here. You know what I mean? So say you got a little activity of bear or something right by your stand. And you, you can't capitalize on it because you don't even have no darn, uh, you don't even have a darn stand there. So say, say you want to hunt this right here stand. So say you want to hunt this mule deer right here. Well... I mean, you can put you a stand right over here. You know, it's going to be upwind, so... Pressure button there. You know, maybe put it like right here or something. Put it like right here in front of this tree. See? Then back up a little bit and then hit climb. See, you can just sit here with a bow and any deer comes here. Coming down here to drink, your stand's right there. Here you go, man. Here's a place to come hunting. When the deer come down here to eat, drink, you can use this for an archery stand. I mean, how cool is that, man? You can actually use this for an archery. Uh, I like that, you know? I really like that. And and say you... Uh, Alright, let's, let's see here. So, say you go right here. And you go, well, heck, I, I really don't want to stand there, you know? So remember, you put a stand there. See this stand? You can take that down from right here by clicking X. How cool is that? 
I mean, that is really cool. So, on a heel, you can put them on a heel. I think you can, at least. So, um, but right here, you can put it right here. Okay? You can go several places and put them. Say, well, I want to put one everywhere I go, you know. The only drawback to everything is, say, well, heck, man, I, I wish there was a stand close here, because every time I come here, there's a bunch of deer standing here drinking at my uh, at my boundary. So, what the heck, I can't do do this. So just bring your stand, hunting stand up, you know, just put it right here, because you're in the shade. What a perfect place. What a perfect place to hunt, bow hunt. You could use this as a bow hunting too. Overlooking this valley right here. I know you. I got to stand here, but I'd, I'd like to have one here. So you can go right there and you can take these down, see? You can take these down right where you're at. So I think it's pretty cool. A great add, add on when you're hunting. And you know, I think that'll come in handy. Cause sometimes you need a stand, like even right here where you don't have no way. I wish the next big thing they would do is that in a, see there's no stand here, you could use a stand here. Because there is some nice elk up, or moose, but you know, kind of helps, you know. But that's how it goes, my friends. So I hope, I hope you enjoyed the video. I just wanted to say hi and uh, hope you liked it, okay? Well, have a good one, everybody. Uh, Thanks for watching. Appreciate you. And let's see. Yeah, see, there's no, there's no way to drive from here. But I can carry it with me. Anyhow, thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate it.